And what are we doing today? Well, we are activating a passive radon system. I seem to be doing that a lot, but we're having trouble. So I wanted to show you something and just take in the grand scheme of what is likely going on here. By the way, my name is Scott. I'm Radon Mitigator Virginia. I make videos for other radon mitigators. Those looking to get in the business, if you're a homeowner, of course you can stay and hang out. A good place for you to go if you're looking for a radon mitigator is www.nrsb.org. It's right down here. That's the National Radon Safety Board. Just go to that site, plug in your zip code, then I'll pull up a list of certified radon professionals in your area. So here we are today. This is a good little way to test out if you suspect a, a passive radon system is going to work out. So what I've done, well, I've already dismantled it, but I took a picture. So based on what this fan, this conventional radon fan, should be able to do in a home that has a good gravel base, it should be drawing much less than that over two on this manometer here. So what that means is it's maxed out. It means that the pipe is, is suffocated. Here's the big picture. Look at this entire neighborhood of all these houses likely built the exact same way with passive radon systems that aren't doing a darn thing. That's what I wanted you to take in. And of course, every single unit is a case by case basis, but this is a real estate transaction and this is going to cost a lot more than the homeowner thought. I've got to rejigger this whole thing. I'll show you how we do it. Stick around. Okay, so here we are in the attic, access to the garage, and we've installed our radon fan. And what we did was we severed the original pipe right there, and we capped it off and labeled it for what it is. It's an abandoned uh, radon pipe that was unsuccessful and we rerouted it down into the utility area. First we drilled a pilot hole. Afterwards we went ahead and core drilled the big hole with a five inch bit to accommodate a four inch pipe and we excavated the gravel content underneath the slab and luckily there was a good gravel base. We were fortunate to get power for the radon fan from this outlet up here. We don't always have outlets in an attic, but we were lucky today. And we always like to make sure that the homeowner or anybody else might know that the fan is intended to always be on. Okay, so before I take you in there to show you the finished product with the radon system, I want to show you this one thing that can slip below your radar if you're in radon mitigation or a homeowner or what have you. And recently I installed a system and it failed to pass, well, it failed to be under the four Pico Curie uh, threshold that we, that we strive to be under when we install radon systems. Uh, Pico Curie is a, a measurement of radiation. Uh, you might recall Madame Curie uh, from school. So, you know, she she gave her life to studying radiation and uh, that's one of the ways in which she is remembered in that unit of measurement. So what we have here is a bathroom. So this house, well, it's a townhouse in a community and it's all on one level. And so this is the lowest living level. There is no basement. And so what we have here is a bathroom with a tub shower and what's common for tub showers is there to be a big square carved out to accommodate that tub drain. Newer construction that I've seen in my area, the guys that are really on top of things, they, they go ahead and seal that up. But I bet you dollars to donuts that there's a big square right here where we're losing suction. I have no idea until I cut this hole. So um, that's the part of radon mitigation is a lot of physical experimentation pre-purchased an access panel. I know the measurements of that. I've, cut, I've drawn it out in pencil here and used the uh, two foot level here to make sure everything's square. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut that out and see what we've got back there. I've never seen one quite like this before, so actually, 
like I did this for nothing. Hmm. But that's the radon game for you. Um, good on the builders for doing that, uh, for containing it. It looks like they used some sort of five gallon bucket. But, um, so we kind of did this for nothing. I see a little bit that we can fill. But anyway, the less the still remains to watch out for that if you're in the field of radon mitigation. You know, this is a real life channel and stuff happens and I try to put the good, the bad, the ugly out there. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this little tiny hole that I see at the very bottom. We'll put an um, access panel back and, um, and I'll show you the finished product. You should have bet me he could have won some donuts. Okay, so I'll be the first to admit the juice wasn't exactly worth the squeeze on this one, but anyway, we got some goop down there and we're gonna make the most of it, put the panel back. So if you've ever worked with these panels, they've got these little spring-loaded uh, catches here. They grip to the inside of the drywall. Ta-da! Okay, so that'll work out fine right there. And now I'm going to show you uh, how we turned out at the interior suction point here in this side. So out here, just so you got your bearings, uh, here's the garage and, uh, whoa, we got dark on me here. It's January and that gets dark over there. Okay, so up there's where we were. And so the original system, the original pipe, was behind this wall. This is what made me be suspect of it to begin with. So this is a separate pad. You see how that is elevated right there? And I thought to myself, man, that is awfully close to where two pads of concrete come together. So either they really knew what they were doing or they didn't, <laughs> not much in between. And I don't mean that in a smart alecky, know-it-all kind of way. Uh, the trade of radon, uh, we're the new kids on the block. So there's a lot to learn about what we do and um, a lot of the builders that take on uh, installing radon systems when they build a new home, they just simply don't know. Just like I don't know how to build a house. So it varies from community to community, region to region. Uh, matter of fact, the neighborhood right over there, um, I'll name names, uh, states and homes, they install kick butt passive radon systems. I've installed a few over there and it's almost a pleasure activating them because um, they just really had their stuff together. This uh, community was built uh, 2007 and right around in my neck of the woods 2005 is when I started seeing you know passive systems really enforced and so there's a learning curve, that's all. So accountability, so that's a huge factor right there. So when a builder builds a home in, in my neck of the woods, at this time of making this video, they're required to install a passive radon system, which is a, pa a fancy way of saying, well, we, we put a pipe in the ground, well, you know, through the subfloor, route it up through the roof, and the idea is that radon is supposed to just drift up naturally like a chimney effect, unassisted, so passive. So when I activate a passive system, I'm simply attaching a fan in line to give it a helping hand. And so when a builder builds these passive systems, there's no testing required afterwards to make sure that they work. So that's what I mean by accountability. And you know, the word is spreading. And as awareness grows, voila, here we go. Um, got a five inch hole to accommodate four inch pipe, transition to three inch. And we're back up there connected to the fan. And right here, so this is a pretty ideal reading with a slab that's got a good bed of gravel to treat all of that. So I feel really good about that. We'll see where 
uh, the knowledge takes the industries of building homes and radon mitigation and how they you know eventually merge together uh, to get on the same track. Hey, I hope you picked up something. If you did, by all means, smash that like button and consider subscribing. I try to put out lots of content for the radon community. doesn't cost you a dime. It means the world to me. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.